Today we're going to work on comparison problems with addition and subtraction. We will continue this work from what we did in class today. We drew bar models and we wrote equations to represent the problem. Hot air balloon festivals draw large crowds of people. The attendance on the first day of one festival was 17,350. On the second day, the attendance was 18,925. How many more people attended the hot air balloon festival on the second day? And we needed to make sure that when we read the word problems, we are attentive to the parts that we need to pay attention to. So we need to answer this question. How many attended on the second day? The information that we need to use was the first day, there was 17,000. 50 people, and on the second day, there were 18,925 people. And we're going to use those pieces of information to help us draw a bar model and write an equation. So we set up the first day, 17,350 people, second day, 18,925 people, and we're solving for how many more people attended on the second day. We represented that information by drawing two bar models to compare the first and the second day. We learned that our two bar models are not equivalent in size. We learned that the top bar model should represent the larger part and the bottom bar model represents the smaller part and the missing value and those two values together would give us the total of our top portion. And the way that we did that is that we broke this down. So we had to decide that the second day showed us the larger value. So we labeled our bar model and this represented the second day. And we inserted the larger value, 18,925. And the second bar model, the shorter one, represented the first day. And we inserted the value, 18, 17,350 to represent this bar model. And what we needed to decide was what was this missing piece? What is that missing piece and how do we go about doing that? And when I'm looking at this word problem, I know that how many more people attended lets me know that I should I should be subtracting. So I need to take the larger value, which is the second day, 18,925, and subtract that from, and subtract the smaller value from the larger value. And the smaller value, the smaller people in attendance was 17,350, and we needed to subtract. So we did 5 minus 0. We knew we had to come and regroup. We made the 2 a 12. And then we 12 minus 5 is 7, 8 minus 3 is 5, 8 minus 7 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. And we determined that this missing value was 1,575. That was that missing value. And these two, volumes to get, these two values together, the first day, and this missing part would give us this total of 18,925 people that attended on the um, second day. So it's, we want to know how many more people. These two values together tells us the total. This value alone tells us the, the <clears throat> amount of people that attended on the second day. And so when we fill that in, we said that 1,000. 575 more people attended the festival on the second day. Okay, let's try another one. During an event, a hot air balloon traveled a distance of 5,110 feet during the first trip and 850 more feet during the second trip. How far did the hot air balloon travel during the second trip? Again, we're going to look at this information to see what we're solving for. We're trying to figure out how, how far it traveled during the second trip. We know that it traveled 5,110 feet the first trip 
and then it went 850 more feet during the second trip. So our information, we have our first trip, we have our second trip, and now we're going to create our bar models to match our comparison problems. We know that we're going to have two separate bar models, and our, our top bar model is going to be larger than our bottom one. And now we have to decide, based on this question, how far did the balloon travel on the second trip using this information of 850 more feet and 5,110 feet to determine how to solve this. The larger value is going to be here. So that larger value is going to be the second trip. So I need to label this bar model the second trip. I am not going to be able to put a number here because I don't know the second trip yet. I know that the first trip was 5,110. The second trip was 850 more. So I am, this is unknown right now. I do know what the first trip is. So I can come here and I can go ahead and label the first trip because I do recognize what the first trip is. And that is 5,110 feet. So I, I recognize what this is. Then I have this piece that I need to solve for here. And right now, I do know what this missing value is because this is the extra. This is the more that was added on. And that is where my 850 would go. So in order to find out this second trip, I need to combine the first trip, which is 5,110 feet, with my additional 850 feet. So this is going to be an addition problem that I am solving for. So I take my two values and I'm going to add them together. 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 5 is 6, 1 plus 8 is 9, 5 plus 0 is 5. So we have 5,960 feet. So 850 feet was added to the 5,110 feet. So the hot air balloon traveled 5,960 feet. Now I can go back and I can fill in the second trip. This is my larger value. The second trip traveled the furthest distance. 5,960. Here's one that I would like for you to try on your own. You already have the first two problems written in your journal. Actually, you have more than that because we have worked on those in class. You have a total of four or five problems written in your journal from today. This is a new problem. Last year, ticket sales for a commercial hot air balloon ride were $109 and seven, 109, this is supposed to be 1,000, so let's, let me fix that really quickly. There, $109,076. This year, the ticket sales were $125,805. How much more were the ticket sales this year? So you're going to take this information, how much more. That's what we're looking for this year. You know that we're going to have two different ticket sales. We're going to have the ticket sales from last year, and we're going to have the ticket sales for this year. You're going to take that information and you're going to fill in these parts. Then you're going to come down and complete your bar models. We are going to have two of them. Remember that, two bar models. The top bar model is going to represent the larger portion. And the bottom bar model is going to represent the lesser portion with an unknown. So you need to label the bar models, and then you need to show your work. Are you adding or are you subtract, subtracting? And then you're going to write the ticket sales here. The ticket sales were blank more this year. Okay? So I want you to work on that. I need you to show your work in your journal. Then you are going to complete a second example. Here is your second example that I would like for you to work on. 
you're going to read this to yourself, read it carefully, read it more than one time. You're going to fill in all the parts that you need to have in, and you're going to put this in your journal and make sure that you bring it tomorrow. Leave me a note on that moto that says, Ms. Clemens, I have watched the video. Don't forget to complete your whisk so that you can summarize what you have learned from this video, and we will have more opportunities to work on this skill in class tomorrow. Take your time, go back and review, reference the examples that you already have in class, and also reference the examples that I've shown you again within this video. Thank you.